Well, hello again. Uh, oh, this one might be a bit uncomfortable. The question is, should we lower our expectations? Well, as we, as we look at the belt tightening measures expected following the uh, massive expenditures necessitated by the COVID epidemic, we're all wondering how long the needed uh, squeeze, the austerity, will last. Politicians, of course, will tell us that everything will be back to normal in another year or so, especially if we vote for them. <laughs> Whereas others are quite certain that we're in for a long haul of uh, tough times. So I examine both possibilities. <clears throat> First of all, who say yes, yes, we should lower our expectations. Well, to start with, the public sector debt, which has been amassed during the uh, COVID epidemic, it's similar to what we piled up after World War II. It's really that big. It took a long time to get that one sorted out, and it will be the same this time. We simply can't go on forever spending money that we don't have. And it's not just the aftermath of COVID, another enormous burden on public finance in every nation of the world uh, is, I'm afraid, that of demographic pressure. The ratio of the unproductive retired population, hello, <laughs> to that of the working productive segment is increasing all the time. Ever more seniors uh, want ever more elaborate benefits and health care. And look, this is a situation that's clearly unaffordable in the long term. But there are a lot of them. Uh, they vote. The politicians can't and won't ignore those pressures, and it can only lead to a fiscal crunch. At the same time, uh, many privileged people around the world amass even more wealth and take more out of the system. In America, capital gains rates of tax cheat the treasury of needed tax revenue. But the uh, political power of such people guarantees that it will probably never be changed. Similarly, in Britain, many wealthy tax evaders and tax dodgers support the ruling party, keeping their money in British-approved <laughs> offshore tax havens. Not only is all of this unfair, but it represents an enormous loss of public sector revenue. It will continue. Will they bite the hand that feeds them? We are also demanding huge spending to avert global warming, to protect the environment, to provide better services for emotionally and physically damaged people, etc., etc. It's a never-ending demand. Spending money we don't have as nations eventually will drive up interest rates. Um, investors in fixed-rate securities, in other words, the government bonds uh, that they have to sell in order to finance all of this, will eventually demand a higher rate of interest to compensate them for the possible risk of not ever getting their loans paid back. The result is that more and more of national income will be used to simply service this debt and pay the interest on it. There will be nothing left for all the other increases that everybody wants, and it's starting to happen now. So, I'm afraid the bottom line is there simply isn't enough money to deal with all these problems, to do what everybody wants done, and it's therefore simply going to get tougher for everyone. So, I'm afraid it's time to lower your expectations. Well, of course, there are many people who don't accept this, uh, who not only don't want to see it, but uh, don't even think it's a valid uh, expectation. To begin with, it's simply unjust and unfair that those who are feeling the pinch, uh, and what we're talking about is people at the lower ends of the income spectrum, should lower their expectations even further. If necessary, uh, somewhat ominously, uh, there might even be revolution to put this right. It's, it has happened in the past. We can't ignore that possible risk. Uh, and there is one school of economics known as Modern Monetary Theory, MMT, which says that we can keep spending money and driving up sovereign debt indefinitely. We've been doing this now for decades in most countries and nothing awful has happened. Uh, the, the powers that be, of course, will eventually have to flush out the, 
the rich uh, tax cheats and make them pay. And that'll make a big difference as well. So don't panic. It'll all be okay. <laughs> well, uh, what's my take on this, uh, I'm afraid, very thorny subject? Well, I've been thinking about this for a while. Seven years ago, I wrote a book entitled Lower Your Expectations, An Unflinching Look at the Near Future. In it, I made um, some of the points above plus a few others. My conclusion was that there will be tough times and they will last longer than many people think, but uh, that we'll eventually come out of it okay, at least here in the UK. Unsurprisingly, it has indeed got tougher, as predicted, but I stand my, by my conclusion. It will be okay, but I'm afraid not anytime soon. Many of you probably don't want to hear about that and hear my thinking on it, but I'm afraid the logic is really solid. Sorry about that. Well, if you liked it, not many of you <laughs> perhaps will, uh, but please give me a like, uh, subscribe, uh, notify, comment, and so forth, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.